Hello and welcome to another video of me, Winner and Shade, with another video of Weekly Andrew, in which, yeah, this week, I honestly don't actually have very much to talk about, considering I have kind of, for some reason, been quite lazy this week. Don't know exactly why, but I have been, considering I literally only actually have one anime to actually really talk about this week, which is Shield Heroes, so yeah, let's just go ahead and get to that, I guess. So, yeah. Hmm. Rough tell you this episode. Eh, that's basically all this really is. It's just focusing on Raftalia. With her getting sent to the prison before get, where she's supposed to go to kill. But she ends up being put in the same prison room as the other vassal heroes of that world. Which... I have a feeling Kyo probably planned a bit, I guess. Considering that is kind of a stupid decision. Unless he had no part in actually having her put in the same room. But I doubt that. So, yeah. She ends up managing to escape, of course. With the vassal heroes. In which, yeah. Very simple there and all, all that, I guess. But after all that, Treftalia ends up being a shrine with them. Where the they're about to have the Kanata new Kanata hero, basically, with a weapon choosing its wielder, in which for some reason Raftali ends up becoming the Kanata vassal hero. Yeah, I honestly don't really understand that, but yeah. For some reason the weapon chose her. Despite the fact that she's from another world. Don't know how that's going to work out, considering she's now a vassal hero of a world that she doesn't actually belong in. Yeah, I don't know how that's going to work out. But the Kanata, some, for some reason, also makes her grow up again as well, which is also a bit confusing exactly why does that happen? Don't really know, but okay. And then, of course, at the end of it, she ends up reuniting with... Now, for me, which, yeah, I think that reunion was supposed to be a lot more emotional than what it actually was. Considering it wasn't very emotional at all, which I think is kind of down to, like, two things, kind of. The fact that time that they were separated was very short. Okay. Seriously, they were only separated for a single episode. That's it. I guess two of you kind of count the majority of this one. So kind of two full episodes that they were separated. That's it. Not very long. And also the fact that I kind of have a feeling that it's a decent bit of the story here is kind of being rushed. I'm not exactly sure, but I kind of have a feeling that's going on. So, yeah. Kind of another reason, I guess, that it wasn't very emotional, I feel like. But, uh, yeah. Few more episodes left in this season, and it's honestly absolutely horrible. Uh, seriously, they should have. They really shouldn't have fucking rushed the Spirit Tortoise arc and decided to just throw it to the wayside, basically. Making it even worse than it actually is. And now, apparently, from what I can tell rushing through this as well, considering they don't actually have time to finish it because the first half of the season was Spirit Tortoise Arc. Yeah. They're probably... They basically got two major arcs, and they're trying to fit it into one season, while the first season was probably, like... I honestly don't know. Was that just a single arc for 24 episodes? And now they're trying to pit two arcs in 12 episodes? Yeah. If that is the case... Yeah, they're stupid. Absolutely stupid for making these kind of decisions. But otherwise, yeah. Don't really have anything else to say for a shield hero. So, uh, yeah. That was the only anime I actually had to really talk about. So, moving on to Devious World, which I did not actually finish all, these care, all of Holly's content. But, yeah. Holly for basically is just a character that's kind of synth based around holidays in this thing. So yeah. Holly. Holidays. 
kind of make sense there. But only five months are actually available currently. Two of them are not written, don't have anything written at all. So yeah, I got through all of February and April. February, of course, Valentine's Day, and April is Easter. So yeah, that's all that's really there. February's is honestly kind of short, doesn't really have that much content at all. And Easter kind of has a decent bit, considering there is one path in it that leads to basically get to the ends there, and then you got five different outcomes, depending on the final choice or something. Five, six, I don't actually remember the total there, but yeah. Due to that, kinds of adds up to quite a bit, but otherwise, yeah, not that much there either, I feel like. Especially considering, from what I can tell, October and at least December have more constants both of these two combined, I think. But yeah, I still had to go through October, November, and December before I have all of Hoya's character's content finished, which I will get done this week. I will make sure of that. For some reason, I was lazy this week, did not really get around to it, but I will make sure I actually get around to it this week, without question. Especially considering the fact that the game has actually finally gotten updated once again, after the developer took a bit of a break due to writer's block, and yeah, now in version 73, in which everything that was added, which I'm assuming was all written in the, this last month basically, is basically the same amount, from what I can tell, the same amount of content that would have been added in three, the last three updates combined. So yeah, definitely good improvements there. From what I can tell, considering I'm assuming that all this was written in a single month, and yeah, that was like three months worth of content, from what I can tell before all taking that break. So yeah, pretty good I feel like. So yeah, that's basically all I have there to talk about. So Nino Kuni. Yeah, I haven't made much progress in Nino Kuni at this point, considering yeah. I'm pretty sure the level progression issue once you get to level 40 is intentional. They make it easy to get to level 40. With all the re rewards for main story and everything, bringing up just as quickly as you need to until you get to level 40, and then they just cut that off. And you have to do tons of grinding if you want to continue leveling up. Or, of course, spend money, which I'm a free to play player, so nope. So yeah, um, still doing tons of grinding the game, but now instead of just for soul stones, it's kind of more for experience, so I can level up. So yeah, for the most part, I've gotten through all the, the story that's in the Allegra Plateau, which. For the most part, it's only really actually had three channels on the server that I'm on, and only in the last day, basically, has gotten a fourth channel because more people there. So I'm definitely up there, I feel like, when it comes to story progression, consider compared to most of the players on the server that I'm on. So, uh, yeah. At this, I've only actually done one stream this week, playing, you know, Goonie and everything. Um, yeah. Got all that. Did all that story progression there, and also just kind of created my own kingdom before that stream, and gotten most of that stuff done there, kind of. And just need to level darn thing up so I can actually really do things there. But I'm basically all by myself, so yeah. I think I'm probably going to actually have to try and do some recruitment if I want people to join, considering otherwise I don't think people will ever actually... Otherwise, I don't think people are ever really going to even find my kingdom, so yeah. I don't really know about that, but whatever. But, due to the whole level progression issue, the amount of experience I basically get over a single week of grinding basically non-stop is kind of the amount that's needed to do level up enough to 
basically do a single stream. So yeah, I think at this rate I should be able to do one stream of Nino Kuni every week. And that's it. Just keep that up until I'm done with it, I guess. So yeah. I really hate this. Considering I don't want to do any of the story off camera. I want to do it all on stream so I kind of have stuff that I can do right now but I don't want to do it because I'm not going to be streaming it and I want to stream it which is very annoying but besides all the nonsense from Nino Kuni I guess I yeah I've just been lazy this week haven't really gotten around to doing anything and I honestly kind of Already at the end of this episode here. Just a few things left to mention, I guess. Considering, yeah. I know I'm going to have more to talk about next week. That's for sure. Considering one thing for sh I know. Absolutely certain it's the fact that we'll be talking about the sentence of the book. Of course, I'm considering, well, final episode airing Monday. <laughs> because it only has 10 episodes. Which is honestly a bit annoying considering this season sex has been pretty good. Eh, uh, yeah. And also, Opi Odyssey has gotten an update this week, so I also have that to play along with all the other updates for other games that I still, for some reason, have not actually gotten around to doing. It's just I'm being way too lazy lately. I need to get around to doing this stuff. Yeah. And I definitely need to get done. Finish all of Holly's content in Devious Worlds. So I can move on. Hopefully if I I'll also get myself around to doing the stuff in the that was added in the update as well. So I can get that stuff done and kinda of just try and quickly finish off everything in Devious World, I think. And so I'm pretty sure the adult characters on there. Uh like three adult characters that's left for me to do. Don't actually have tons of content. I may even actually have more, I'm not exactly sure, to be honest. But then there's only one middle-aged one left to do as well, so four characters after I finish Holly, and I'm done with Devious World, and only have a future updates to play. So, yeah. At that point, I guess I can start working on Devious Mundanian 2, which is the other game that he's or she's working on, I guess. Um, so, yeah, and Devious Mundanity is the one that has a giant ruby parody in it, so that will take me forever to ever actually finish reading, considering how long it is. Considering I was skimming through that once, and oh boy, I'm pretty sure I spent over an hour just skimming. Skimming through that as quickly as I possibly could and cannot get to an ending. Yeah. I have no idea how long it's going to take me to read that once I get around to it. Uh, God. And to be honest, thanks like Devious World here, other games here, kind of reason why I haven't actually gotten around to going back to reading Spice Wolf, I guess. Just I still haven't actually done that, despite the fact that I really do want to. <sighs> God. I need to get things turned around, I tell you. <laughs> but, yeah, I guess that will be the end of this video, so, yeah. So far, I've been recording for, for 15 minutes, so it's probably going to be more 12, 13 minutes, I guess. I'm not exactly sure. Considering I do cut stuff out a little bit due to like errors and just me not talking for a moment while I kind of read over notes, make sure I have some, you know, what the next thing I want to talk about is, so, yeah. <sighs> I guess that's the end of this video, so I hope you all enjoyed it, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye. Uh,